okay so uh, next we talk about zero index okay let's do uh, a problem 5 to the power 3 divided by 5 to the power 2 is what 5 to the power 1 because um, 3 minus 2 is 1 right now what if it is 5 to the power 3 divided by 5 to the power 3 yeah that's a yeah that's 5 to the power of 0 right and if you uh, like usually when you do some fraction if you get let's say 100 by 100 that's equal to 1 right so if you have the same number on the numerator and the denominator that answer is equal to 1 right so 5 to the power 3 divided by 5 to the power 3 so you can just cancel like that and put this is equal to 1 right so 5 to the power 0 is equal to 1 okay now that applies to any number right it need not be 5 here it can even be 2 to the power 0 right so 2 to the power 0 is also equal to 1 okay 20 to the power 0 is also equal to 1 so any any base and if the index is 0 the value is always value is always 1 okay so uh, so that's 0 index so anything to the power 0 is equal to 1 0 power 0 is not defined okay fine um, now let's talk about negative indices so so far we have only seen um, like positive numbers as the index okay now what if it is let's say 5 to the power minus 2 so to evaluate this we use this law so this is another law of indices okay so it says a to the power minus m is equal to 1 by a to the power m so 5 to the power minus 2 will be 1 by 5 to the power 2 so that's 1 by 25 okay so how do you get this law you can say a um, to the power minus m that's the same as a to the power 0 minus m right because when you say minus 4 that is equal to 0 minus 4 isn't it minus 3 is same as 0 minus 3 isn't it so instead of minus m you can write 0 minus m now you know that this can be written as a to the power 0 divided by a to the power m because when you get such a division this will be equal to what a raised to 0 divided by a raised to m will be a raised to 1 no i mean usually when you when you have a simple uh, when, when you have a problem like 5 to the power uh, 6 divided by 5 to the power 4 you do this as 5 to the power 6 minus 4 right yes. so we are just using the reverse logic here so a to the power 0 minus m will be a to the power 0 by a to the power m right yes a, a to the power 0 by a to the power m so a to the power 0 is what a to the power 0 is 1 so that's 1 by a raised to m so we started with a raised to minus m and we we got to 1 by a raised to m so a raised to minus m is equal to 1 by a raised to m okay so this is how you deal with uh, negative indices okay so use this property a, a to the power minus m is 1 by a to the power m okay so now let's do some more problems and some of these uh, involve negative indices
without using a calculator evaluate the following 2 to the power 3 times 2 to the power 0 so that's 2 to the power Power 3 itself, right? 3 plus 0 is 3. So that's how much? So when they say evaluate, you have to find the number. Uh, 8. 8. Okay. How about B? 25, yes. Okay. Then 5 to the power 2 times 5 to the power minus 2. Oh, very good. So, you can do this in two ways. 5 to the power 2 times 5 to the power minus 2 is 5 to the power 2 plus minus 2, right? So, 5 to the power 0, which is 1. Because anything to the power 0 is 1. Or you can do it like this. 5 to the power 2. 5 to the power minus 2 is 1 by 5 to the power 5 to the power minus 2 is 1 by 5 to the power 2. So, you can cancel this 5, 5 square and 5 square. So, you will get 1. Right. Similarly, this D is also also 1. Yes. Then, how about E? Yeah, 4 to the power 0 is is actually 1, right? So, this is the same as saying 1 square. 1 square is 1 only, right? Then, how about this F? 4. That's the wrong answer. How is it 4? What is the power 0? Divided by 2 to the power 2, right? So, that's 1 over 4. 1 over 4, right? Okay. Then, how about this one? 3 to the power minus 2. Uh, 1 over 3 power 2. 1 over 3. 3 to the 1 over 9. Okay. How about this? 4 to the power minus 1. 4 to the one power minus 1. 1 over 4. 1 over 4 to the power 1, right? Yes. That's 1 over 4. Okay. Then how about, um, how about this one? D. 5 times 1 over 10 to the power 3. 10 to the power 3. Yes. So that's 5 over 1000 you can simplify this yes. how many fives in in 1000 uh, what's the simplest form of this fraction 5 over 1000 one over very good 1 over 200 okay similarly you can uh, okay let's do one more e 100, 100 times 10 power 2, okay. 100 over 100, very good. Equal to 1, okay. 10 to the power minus 3 is? 1 over 1000. 1 over 1000, very good, yes. 9 to the power, uh, sorry, 9 times 3 to the power minus 2. So that's 9 times? 9 times 1 over 3 power 1 over 9. I mean 9 over 9. 9 over 9. Yes. How about this B? 2 to the power 3. Okay. Good. How about C? 64 over 2 
Yes. Ah. Uh, Four, right? Okay. Then how about um, how about D? Four over eight. Four over eight. One. One over two. Ah, one over two. Yes. How about E? See, instead of finding six power three, you can. Express thirty six as six power something, right? Thirty six is thirty six is six power two. So that six power two divided by six power three. How much is six power two by six power three? Six 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 power two minus three, right? So six power minus one. Six power minus one is six power minus one is one over six. One over six. Okay. Similarly, you can do the last one, right? So here you would say one hundred over ten. Yeah. So that's just ten, right? So that's how you do problems involving negative uh, indices. Uh, okay, how about um, this one? Three over two to the power minus two. Three times. Two to the power two. Very good. Yes. So a to the power m is uh, sorry a to the power minus m is one by a to the power m. Um, so if it's one by a to the power m, this is equal to a to the power minus m. If it is one by a to the power minus m. This is a to the power m. Yes. Okay. So uh, three. Uh, okay. So three times two to the power two, or three times four or twelve. Okay. Then how about b? Four times. Two power three, so that's four times eight. Thirty-two, right? Okay. How about E? Seven to the power four. Times. Ah, okay, okay. You can say seven to the power four. Yes. Seven. Very good. 